Hello everyone. In this demo, I am going to walk through the migration of data from Teradata to BigQuery. For this process, these are the prerequisites required. One is a service account with BigQuery admin and cloud storage admin roles. A cloud storage bucket to stage the data during migration. A BigQuery data set to hold the data. And to have an installed JRE on a machine where we are performing the migration. The first step to start the migration is to have a BigQuery data transfer service. Now let's go and create BigQuery data transfer service. We need to click on this create transfer under data transfers. As we are migrating from Teradata, we need to use migration Teradata and give a name. For the schedule options, we can choose from this drop down. As of now, I am selecting the default one, which is daily and start now. In the destination settings for the data set, we need to give the data set name, which we have already created under prerequisites. Database type is Teradata. Cloud storage bucket is what we already create, created during prerequisites. Database name is from where you want to migrate the data. Table name patterns, if you want to specifically exclude few tables, you can mention those pattern here. As I'm using all the tables for migration, I'm giving dot star here. Service account email is the email ID, which, which is there for our created service account. Schema file, file path, if you have any custom schema file, you can mention the same here. As I'm not having anything, I'm just skipping this step. As we can see, the transfer service has been created and configured as per our inputs. Now, let's start uh, initializing the migration agent here. Here, as I'm using the Red Data Parallel Transfer temp Template, first we need to provide it as an S. Now we need to give a default path to save the template configuration. We need to give the path to save the local files during the migration. And host name is uh, Teradata database host name. And port is the port on which Teradata runs. You need to have a database credential file with the username and password for the Teradata database. We need to give the path for that credential file. Here we have to enter the BigQuery data transfer service, which we have created just now I need to copy this resource name so that it will pick all the configurations from this service we need to give a configuration file path where the configuration will be written during the initialization process now as we can see the configuration file successfully created so now we have successfully initialized our migration agent and now we can run the migration agent. These commands for running and initializing the migration agent can be found from the Google documentation. Now it is starting the migration process. These are the tables which are there in the Teradata database. Now as part of the migration, all these tables and table data will be transferred to the data set which we have created in BigQuery. As we can see, uh, it is extracting tables. As it may take time, let's wait for some time. As 
as we can see now it has finished extracting the tables data so let's go to the bigquery data set and see whether the data has been migrated or not You can see all the tables in this. So the migration was successful. So let's check whether the count. Let's take any one table and check. Uh, This is the count. Let's see the same in Teradata database. As you can see, the data in both the tables are same. This means the migration is successful. Thank you.